Well, hello, hello, this is Lars again, and I wanted to show you another feature in uh, point 22 while I finish this up. So this is the old Sciencer 4, trusty old companion, and if we do this and just save it here, this is small lifter 1, we'll just call it that, that's easier. And let's load back up the probulator. <laughs> that's well that's it, it is a reference all right just trust me and we'll go to sub assemblies and we'll grab this and put it there and we're done this is so awesome so what we have here is the state putnik with the two antennas which looks kind of spiffy eight batteries so we have 800 electrical charge when this is fully charged and four of these will we do want to get this back and the core here is the new uh, let's see what was it called it's the science junior so i'm guessing there's a senior and let's see how this actually works now um let's launch let's uh, launch this I don't know if this actually has an SAS or anything, so this might be a horrible failure. But what I wanted to try first is actually just, you know, activating this on the ground. Observe materials bay. Observe. The materials show little signs of change through one of the, the samples appears to be judging you silently. Right, so we can transmit this, but the data is not that valuable. That's fine. Let's uh, see. It works. I actually opted for the smaller antennas just because the bigger one was, well, um, <laughs> the bigger one was actually, um, or the better one, the faster one. It's faster, but it's 50% more uh, expensive to use. So, uh, right, let's uh, let's do this. Let's do this, and the, this will of course be horribly unstable as well. And We'll, we'll live with it. There's not that much we can do. So, uh, it doesn't matter. We just want to get into orbit and keep this in orbit for a while. Now, it's used a lot of energy already. Actually, a lot of energy. This is far less efficient than I thought. Oh well, it doesn't matter. We just need some more science to be done. Alright, so we'll put that out of the way and start to counteract our spinning and start heading for the 90 degree mark just slowly oh whoa 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 hey 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 oh this is not going well is it no nope. all right science science do science quickly quickly do science <laughs> so it's spinning all right that's actually not too bad yeah some more samples cool and let's start going back up and try to stop it there. No, oh, we don't have the torque. These are not vectoring engines. We have nothing to do here, so uh, we need to rework this. That's fine. Let's do let's do as much science as we can. So yeah, send this science. Yes, science, please give me science. Yes, uploading. That's awesome. And let's start burning so we can get some more air. We're still burning towards ninety. There is a reaction wheel there, but it's more or less useless. Uh, observe materials bay again and sending science. There's no time to read. Just observe materials bay. Yes, less res the less resist uh, resilient samples appear to have splattered around on the uh, interior, form new and interesting color combinations. That, that that's awesome. Let's let's go. <laughs> more science. More science. Right, at this point, there's no denying that we're going to actually crash. Uh, oh, well, this might be more controllable. Nope. Maybe this will. Oh, yeah, this is more controllable, so we can actually keep in the air for just a bit longer. Let's do that. Observe, materials bay. Yeah, I think that this is the best sample we'll actually get. So let's keep that data and just, you know, this disconnect here, do this, and just get the shoots out. There are, there are four of them, so they, they should be fine. 
And look, we still have a lot of electric electrical charge, and we can just turn this. Oh, yeah, we should probably do a water landing then, or we should try to get it back up. Yeah, not gonna happen. All right, yeah, good to know. Good to know. So, yeah, we could probably go a bit faster, just right at that point. Yeah, all right, good. Let's get back and let's get this recovered and see what happens. Well, this is slow. This, this is way too much parachutes. And it would be easier if this thing weren't so... Ugh, yeah. The probe later, or the... This probe uh, is not optimal. But then again, neither is our la launch stage, so we need to fix that. Uh, that's fine. That's, uh, we could get a better one pretty easily, I think. I think we did get some better stuff, didn't we? If not, we'll just try to focus on that when we do our research. We seem to actually have gotten some more research. And that's awesome. Alright, let's see. Yeah, we're in the water. That's awesome. We are throttled down and everything's fine. All right, let's go to the space center. I'm so glad that this seems quicker. And I'm like I'm running off an SSD, so in the, your experience might not be identical to mine, of course. Um, this computer is a beast. It's 26 science. I think that's actually enough to get some more stuff. So let's let's have a quick look. We might actually get this into orbit today, which would be awesome. Okay, let's have a look. Um, of course, this would help, but we can't afford it. This is something we need. Oh yeah, the trust vectoring, that's actually what we want. We just changed that and changed the boosters. These, we, should be, we don't need to change the boosters at all, I think. But I think this is probably the... This is probably on, on, the only thing we can do. Alright, so let's research that. And the next one is advanced rocketry with radial mounts. That's awesome. And bigger fuel tanks. Yeah, sure. Alright, let's get back to it. Let's, uh, let's make a version 2. Like this, probably 2. And let's just rip out all the engines. We don't care about them. We want some some engines that are, that are actually possible to control. That's... Yep. Seems the symmetry stuff is working better now. Which is cool. Alright, so after we release those, we want this to fire, then we want to release this, and we should be good. Uh, should we just aim for a water landing and hope for the best? Yeah, I think so. Because I don't think we can actually attach anything. Could we maybe attach? Just let's let's have let's try. Let's uh, we should be good with two of them. I think actually. Yeah, we could do this. Yeah, it should be fine. Uh, which means that we could get more batteries, but I think we should be able to get the signs we can from this. Right, let's let's launch it again, and hopefully this launch will go be better than the last one. Oh man! All right, so this and like this and like this and let's get up. Now the first stage, of course, is whoa, 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 whoa! Hey, hey! What are you doing? I should probably have invested in some reaction wheels. Hopefully it won't actually keel all the way over. It seems that for some reason it's more unbalanced than it was. Can I? No. That's not good. Right, let's stop it. Stop it. No. Hey! Oh. Staging error. Awesome. Uh, this seems a lot more controllable now, at least, so, uh... Hmm. Yeah, yeah, this, is, this seems really stable. I don't think this is enough to get into any meaningful stuff here, but... Hey, let's, uh, let's do some, a bit of science before we... 
get back here. Or I wonder if I send this data a couple of times and let's see, send, 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 send. Uh, there's yeah, I use less amount of science anyway at this point. Let's see how much. Yeah, that's uh, not worth it. Let's um, go back to the vehicle assembly building actually and try to fix this. Because this was not good. Um, I think we could just stop using these. We, I, don't, I don't think we really need them that much. Just go away. Alright, so yeah. <laughs> you guys all probably all saw this. I did not. Right. This, 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 this. Yeah, we should be fine. Now, of course, not as much punch as the last one, but hey, let's uh, let's try it. Right. We'll go to like this, I think, and go up. And we're accelerating way too fast. Again, observe some stuff. Do some science. Send it back. It is minuscule, minuscule amounts of science, but I, th I think we still want it because, well, we're waiting here anyway, so like, why not, right? Let's just. I think this is a good speed for the heights, so let's just keep going. I think this is good. This is good. Now, I do want to start correcting a bit. I usually start early, just doing a bit of a correction because we are going to want to go that way anyway. And, well, hey, why not? Now, this update is. The easiest way to say it is it is awesome. It is just awesome. That's the thing. I do like how the career career mode seems to be, you know, they, they, they are on a good path with the, oh, yep, yeah, just stay there please, uh, just a bit more, yeah, let's do this, um, go, cool, and let's have a look here, we are going up in the world, <laughs> or kind of above the world, but hey, semantics now this engine is a bit more efficient I think just just barely and of course it's lower thrust but hey it works now let's see what this thing is doing we do have tons of electrical charge now so this actually has some um, scientific value because the rare, rare ugh. yeah the air has caused uh, interesting uh, changes to gel samples it seems like it's something like something is happening with the interior structure. Yeah, sure. Yeah, you go tell that to the people. And again, I do want to get this into a proper orbit, so yeah. All right, Kermin's upper atmosphere, plus three and a half science added. Yeah, that's not much. Of course, the big amount is actually when we... Okay, let's get there first, before I start ranting and forget what I was doing. Why am I... Oh yeah, because all of it is actually in thrust vectoring. So let's get back here. This is good. And boost, 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 boost. Go, 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 go. <laughs> we were almost out of fuel here. I think there's 80 in the last tank, actually. And this is uh, this is going well. We are able to do some simple maneuvers. And yeah, this is good. Right, I do like this, the new science stuff though, oh man, it's so cool, that's the thing, it's, it is really cool. Right, 25, yeah, sure, let's, uh, the, the fact that we're transmitting it right now, I don't know, space near, near Kerbin, microgravity has greatly affected the growth of crystalline structures, loose objects are also flying around the, uh, the bay in a very messy but fascinating way, <laughs> awesome. Because what I want to do now is probably just boost this engine empty, 
release this and then go try to go further out without actually reaching the moon or anything just going out the fact that we actually got to the moon last time is it's mind-blowing of course the angle is more or less right so hey we didn't get it until on the way back but this this is what I want I think is now the last one is actually just 45 units so let's so okay, let's boost out the last ones and oh we're all the way up out there that's that's cool so uh, let's just release this and do a small push and let's get out there and see what happens when we try to research out there without actually being like at the moon I think this is still just maybe this is still close to Kerbin but then we'll know right this is science we have to try everything spice high over Kerbin all right so this is even more science let's get this yes upload upload and we will probably have the same in the end there right could probably reach the moon again, but hey, we have less fuel even than we had last time. I, I don't want you know to mess this up too bad. All right, so at the top here we have. Oh, whoa, music. No, hey. Oh, yeah. I had the SAS on. Snap. That means um, basically dead in the water. I think I might be able to get some. Um, no, no. Right, this is probably dead. Uh, periapsis is not low enough, so let's just spin it around a couple of times. And let's see what. Oh! We got a pull. Oh, we're even further out. We actually got pulled by the moon. Just. Out there. If we had a solar panel, this would be awesome. Let's see what happens. We are going to maybe hit the moon even. So cool, so cool. Um, I just want to get rid of this probe by now. Just, you know, see is the moon. Hello, moon. Alright. Yeah, we are going to hit the moon. Awesome. Now we aren't able to do anything at all because no engine, no nothing. That's research for you. Yeah, we are going in for a close encounter and yeah. Bye bye little probe. You you ser served us well. Semper Fudge. Well, no, hey, yeah, uh, close. Smoosh. Sorry. Alright, let's, um, <laughs> let's just get back to the center here. And see if that actually opened up any more research or what, whatever happened. So, okay, 20 signs, that's not enough for anything, I think. No. Alright, we will have to do, do it again. But... I think... I'm going to just get this into orbit properly and then get it back. So uh, I think I'll cut here and uh, just get it into orbit and then we'll deorbit it and see what kind of signs we get. Alright. Okay, we're back into orbit and. Uh, Let's do some more science. So yeah, this is actually kind of valuable. Let's uh, give the boost back. So I'm, I'm thinking we might actually have to go to the moon. Like, just an orbit, I think, but still. And, uh, yes, I'm not sure how much more science we can get here. So, let's see, it's almost lined up. We do have some fuel here. We should be able to just go around once. But stopping? I don't think so. I think the 
best bet here is probably just deorbiting this thing. And uh, let's see, let's do this. Deorbiting, getting back, and just trying to test that it can actually get back. And uh, then we see if we can't construct something that can actually land on the moon. If, because if we're going to the moon, we should probably just land there, right? So this should be fine. Let's just release that. Um, this just stop more or less. Yeah, we should be we should be fine. Well, wherever we land right now, we should be fine though, because this is much better probe. So yeah, we can just turn this off, and there's no reason to start up the. Oh, yeah, we're inside. There's no reason to pull the parachutes yet, but we could probably just pull them out as quickly as possible. They should be big enough to just stop us. I think. Well, we'll find out. Uh, so, let's do an observation here. Okay, there's nothing more that happens. Maybe when we do like this. No, uh, let's. Whatever, let's just keep that. It's not good, but hey, at least we get a functional test and see that this is indeed working. They survived, and hopefully the rest of the probe will. Okay, closer, closer, and just don't work. Okay, yeah, we're good. We are officially good. Great, even. Let's review the data. That's that's trash, but hey, at least we get all of the trash when we recover it. I don't know if the other antenna maybe actually gives us a higher, like, percentage or something. I did not check that, but I don't, I don't think so. It should matter, I think. Oh, this is really, really dangerous science stuff. Uh, that's very curable. Right, this looks awesome. Let's uh, we're hitting the water slowly, but surely. Yeah, we're down. Awesome. I wonder what happens if I'm because th there isn't much data here. Let's just send this and. See what happens when we observe in the water. Oh, you expose the material samples to the environment, taking notes of how it behaves. That is cool. Let's uh, let's keep that. <laughs> right. Let's go back to the space center. And to the tracking station. And let's recover this. All right. That's uh, oh, that's actually good science. Material study from Kerbin's water. That's plus 10 science and plus 10 science from this. Okay, yeah. 20 science, sure. I saw this number first and yeah, of course that's not, not, not good. Yeah, so all the recoveries from of the vessels are actually worth 10 science. That's kind of cool. We might be able to exploit that with, um, by kind of, you know, just separating a big vessel with lots of probes and with their own parachutes, just releasing all the parachutes and then just separating it, but I won't do that. Not yet, at least. Maybe if I get desperate. Alright, let's uh, have a look at the research tree and see if we can't actually get something out of this. So, the cheapest ones now are 45s. We actually can get these. Not import right now, I think. Um... <sighs> The struts, the other radial decoupler, this stuff is probably better for us right now to get to the moon than, oh, maybe we should get the, because these are actually quite good, for, hmm, oh man, so like the ISP is not great I think, at least when you, see, have a look at this. Yeah, this is a much better ISP, and we don't need more than 50 when we get to the moon. Yeah, no, uh, we don't. We don't need this. We would rather have this, I think, because of the 
tricoupler, so we can have like a main stack with the three and then one, and yeah, and just use the big boosters. I, I think actually that's uh, our best bet. Oh yeah, we should probably have a look at what's next too, because this actually, we had this, but this is the advanced construction. So, oh, yeah, that's a Rockamax tank, awesome. So, and brand a Rockamax brand adapter. I'm guessing we get something here or something, but uh, let's see. So we get the adapters, we get the big decoupler, structural fuselage, and the and the last uh, detacher and we get small rocket max engine monopropellant oh and we also get we get the rcs which would be nice and the fuel duct that's that's a big one of course the first one we want to take i think is this getting this a simple panel just It'll help a lot, and this battery bank, of course. So I think this is our target, and then probably this. Yeah, but <laughs> next episode I want to get to the moon, but right now I think we're done for this episode. So uh, I'll see you guys later. Fly safe and have fun. Bye.